Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. We left off, we were on the staircase. Our boy was going down the stairs. Come on. He realized that we're not going down the stairs anymore, and he uh, instead led us into this hallway. And there were people up above the stairs, and they were looking at us too. And they were uh, they were saying that they they wanted a sweet slice of this man's ass. What's happening out there? That's it. That's about it. You're welcome. For the synopsis. All right, let's. Uh, okay, we can't we can't actually move or do anything. Oh, maybe. I'm not sure if I'm doing anything or not. I'm holding forward. But I don't know if I'm actually the reason why I'm moving forward or not. Uh, looks like we're about to get shot. Why did it zoom on this dude's butt crack? What the hell was that? Oh, that's, oh, that's funny. Okay. Oh, they're coming that way too. There's a door on our left. Yeah, okay. I kinda need to get out of there. Oh, it sounds like they're- it, it sounds like a them problem. Alright. Well. My boy Ishmael. It zoomed in right on his ass crack. Which is kinda strange. Okay. Alright, well we have nice cover here, at least. In the, uh, in the little rooms here. If, uh, if I actually end up getting up. Or, can I just scoot underneath these? I think I can. I think I can just do this instead. There we go. And then just go underneath them all. Although my prosthetic is very loud. I don't know if you guys can hear that clinking off of everything. Okay. Oh, hold up. Ah! Hold on, I know what to do. I know what to do. Get under this. There we go. That's what I was supposed to do. Was stay under this. Where is our friend? Oh, he's right there. Okay. Yeah. We're good now. We're good now. I think. We'll stay under here until these guys clear these rooms. And until our our uh, burn friend comes out and says we're good. Okay, so he's sweeping this room, and then what's our friend gonna do? Is he gonna fight him? Of course, there's a cutscene for that. Alright, good. There's us. Just not doing a thing, man. Hanging out. There we go. He's doing the same thing. I mean, if he would have just stayed underneath the bed, I think. That would have been fine too, because I did that. Oh, is he gonna pull it down on this guy? He is, he is. Oh, that's slick! The guy's already underneath again. That guy's fast. This guy gets up, knocks a curtain over, and our boy Ishmael doesn't even care. He's fine. Alright, so what's going on here? Are we good? I think I can get out of here. I think I can uh, get out from underneath the bed. Don't even worry about the hands and bandages you see underneath the bed moving and breathing. It's fine. That's just our boy Ishmael. The sneakiest assassin in the, uh, in the entire place, apparently. Alright. And now he's, uh... Anything? It'd be cool if I could prosthetic hook them in the throat and, and get them. You know what I'm saying? Just just get in there with my prosthetic, grab him by the throat, wham, rip, give her a nice rip, and uh, and kill him, and take his pistol, and then start shooting people. But apparently not, because Ishmael said no. He he said uh, he said we're just gonna sit underneath a bed instead and do nothing, because that's the better way of doing it. Here we go. All right, we're finally out. Let's go. We're sitting ducks. Blend right, in with the bodies. Get okay. down on your stomach and crawl. Okay, here we go. Is there are they behind me again? It sounds like they're in that in their behind. Alright, this is that hallway with all the dead bodies. Play dead. Freeze. Okay. Here they come. This reminds me of the one uh 
uh, mission in Modern Warfare 1, I'm pretty sure, where you and Captain Price are sitting next to each other in that field. Oh man, it gets stressful, you know? You're sitting there and you've got the enemies literally walking two inches from you. But then again, it's a game and you know it's like all set activities and stuff. So it's not really that crazy. These guys aren't going to shoot us and they are just going to walk over us like they do. So, well, what's going on here? I kind of want to see who's behind us. Oh. Why does that guy have an RPG then? Ishmael still is holding his head up. That's not exactly super convincing, man. You're, you're not in a dark hallway. Alright. He sees us. We have no blood on us. We don't even look like dead bodies. And these guys are like, yep, we're good. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Yep, fine. Looks good, man. He's like, bro, I've been holding it all day. I get a piss so bad. I'm gonna do it right here. Right now. Oh. Maybe it's to convince them that he's a dead body. Or, I don't know. He's like, yeah, I peed too. Yeah. Ah, uh, or it's saline. Th I very clearly just picked my head up. I don't even look dead. Yeah. <laughs> now you have to move, Ish. Ishmael. Oh, never mind. Building just got set on fire. Okay, time to go. That's convenient timing. And convenient events. Yeah. Okay, so these guys are not together then. So whoever this fire guy and the girl, not with whoever's trying to kill me, apparently. Um, I don't know who these guys are. Some supernatural being and then these military guys, I guess. Oh. He just took the whole grenade. Well, that's impressive. I wish I was that cool. Looks like he has uh, some sort of vest on, or like a trench coat, because uh, his buttons go the whole way down to his waist, and then keep going. Oh, uh, he's about to do it. He's about to do him dirty. I knew it. I knew it. Alright. Oh, he just like dislocated my leg or something. I don't know. Ishmael better pick up that pistol way next to him. I'm, I'm taking it, man. I want it. She gave it to me. I'm solid snake after all. I bet I could sharp shoot that guy right out of the heli too, man. I'm that good. Let's see. What's he gonna do? Alright, we're leaving. I'm rough, I guess. I don't know. I'm limping again and not doing too hot, so... typically only wear in like a service uniform so my guess is this is some sort of old cursed serviceman um, but now he just looks like he's wearing a shirt with stitches on it so I really don't think it's anything okay yeah here we go yeah this guy's gonna shoot a few shots for me and do nothing meanwhile I'm dead over here my legs are broken. All that fun stuff. There you go. So he doesn't die or anything, he just disappears. However, he does look pretty cool. Like the eyes, he, he reminds me of uh, some sort of ghost rider, I think. Okay, so we can we can mend serious injuries. It says. Although it just says action, I don't know what action is supposed to be. All right, let's go, Mike. Okay, dude, can we get these stickers? Okay. 
Alright, let's go... Go this way. Well, I'm fine to take the stairs, man. We're good. Let's do it. This is as far as we're going, though, so... Which door are we going in? Stealthy, sneaky, sneaky snake. Here we go. I was trying to figure out the button for the cardboard box. I don't know if I have that ability yet, though. Oh. Almost. Oh! Never mind. I just got shot and died. Okay. It's not close. Don't you die on me. It's not close if hey, you die. Hey, Alright. Apparently I'm bad at this game. Uh, let's go. Back in here. Here we go. Oh, uh, we have to mend uh, the injury, injury. again. Dekelia, uh, or Dekelia SVA Memorial Hospice Hospital in Cyprus. What's on my face? Is that blue? Is my blood blue? It's not my fault, but this guy walks so slow, man. Okay, let's see. Is my is my blood blue? It won't focus. Uh, it won't focus on my character. Okay, well, we know where we're going, right? We, we know we're going this, this way. Yeah, this way. I actually forgot. I said I know where we're going, and then I forgot where we were going. Alright, we're going this way. If we walk over to a wall, that, that puts us in cover on that wall. And then as long as... Oh, I'm lighting myself on fire here, apparently. Okay, good times. Thanks, man. It's taken. Huh. I'm, I'm right here, Ishmael. Just open the door for me, dude. Get in cover. Uh, I was gonna say he's the one with the pistol. If anybody's gonna kill this guy, it's gonna be him. Here we go. Can I take this guy's gun? Do I get one? No. Okay. He does give me the gun then. Nice. I have one good hand, so I'm, I'm worth something, right? shoulder in first person. I kind of like that. I like that you can, you can do that. There you go. Headshot. Headshot. Got him. Alright, let's go. Oh, how do you switch between, uh, how do you switch shoulders, though? I don't like left shoulder. I'm only a fan of right shoulder. I know. Unpopular opinion here, right, guys? Um, where's this guy's gun? Let's, let's take this guy's gun. This guy had, a. Uh, had a machine gun, dude. Awesome. What's going on with this jabroni? You know what? What are we doing here? It looks like this whole place is about to get trashed. And these guys probably don't even know why. These guys are just like, man, I hate the night shift. Gosh. Jerry's so cool on his daylight. Here comes Thomas back from that damn patrol. I'll run interference. Okay. It sounds like he's taking off his silencer. Yep, he is. Oh, okay. I thought he was taking it and just shooting everybody. Yeah, he is. Okay. He is shooting people. Okay. Can't I just shoot the big tanks on their back? Is that not their oxygen? Can I just run over and... I thought I could kill that guy close. Let's just, let's just see what we can do here. Alright, apparently we're not doing that again. Let's 
see. There's one. Where, where's the other guys? I don't even know where they're at anymore. Oh, I just took a shot. I don't know where they're... Oh, there they are. Okay, let's see. That's another one. Last guy's behind the smoke. I saw him. Uh, is... Did I really not hit him in the head? I thought I did. Okay. Well, he's dead. There we go. Let's switch. Let's... Uh, third person's really nice if I just want to mow down the whole crowd, but... Um, I kind of need some accuracy, so... I'm gonna have to use first to shoot those kind of distances like that. How did this guy get a get outside? This man is an absolute G. What a, what a jabroni. Man, what a jabroni. Wants to steal an ambulance in front of a tank. I don't think I can leave, though. I think, uh, I think we have a bigger problem with that lady and that, that guy, the fire guy. I think they're coming back. For me. Just the way it seems. Oh. Yep, she's behind me. Oh, and, uh, of course, didn't see her. This might not be a Halloween game, but that is still kind of spooky. And then we've got the exorcist over here. Uh, or some sort of demon. And we are the exorcist. Size the shit out of this hospital. Okay, apparently we're not going out that way. But we will have to kill these guys. Unless she's gonna go for us. Of course she's gonna get her, her brother. I don't, I don't know what this guy is. Just walking them. No cares given, man. About to blow this place up. Like a Taco Bell bathroom. Hit him. You can see all the molten bullets in his face whenever he had that close up there. You can see there's a, there's a couple shells in, like his, uh, in his face, but they aren't melting through like these ones are. Looks like he's about to throw. You know what? I don't think those are stitches. I don't think those are stitches in his body. I think they're bullets. Well, that's pretty cool. Oh, did he just lock in on me? Yep, I'm the only one still standing here, and here he is. Um... Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. It doesn't have to be like this, man. Uh, quick dive. Here we go. Our boy Ishmael just saved me, I bet. Like he does. Oh. I don't know. Is this Ishmael driver? He's not a very good driver. Oh, no. Okay. It's these guys. They're coming in to fight him. Hey, man. Just let me slide out. You guys don't need me anymore. You've got bigger problems, you know? She seems to be the more powerful of the two. What's going on here? They can't shoot anymore, or... Never mind. They can clearly shoot. There, unloading on this guy. I don't even really get it anymore. Oh, oh no. Yep. That's a bit of a mess. Okay. Oh. Since you guys look like you have this handled, I'm gonna scoot out the back. All right. It really makes me start to wonder if these guys friend or foe, you know? Because they are killing all these guys. But I think it's all just in, in an attempt to get to me. Yeah, when in doubt, man, just 
uh, just hit him with it, you know? Just hit him with the whole car. The, clearly, the tank idea was not working. But the, that should be, should be no problem. Oh! Okay, that's pretty bad. I think that guy one-upped him. They shot him with a tank shell, but he just, like, destroyed this whole building and everybody in it. So, eh, I don't know. He's kind of winning. Let's see what's going on here. Isn't that a, a statue? Like a metal statue? How are those on fire? Here's this guy. He wants my. He wants me again. Shoot him. Yeah, dude. Everybody else did that, and it worked so well. I think. I think we'll have a good time too. Does it actually matter if I shoot him at all? I just ran out of ammo. I don't think it matters. I'm pretty sure he gets hit by a car. I know. Called it. I'm a genius. By Ishmael in the ambulance. There it is. All right. Let's go. Let's, uh, let's ditch this popsicle stand, you know? I don't know why I'm taking the gun with me. It has no ammo. I don't even have a single shot in it. Oh! That's pretty bad. If anybody can defeat this guy, it's the fire department. The fire... The, the whackers... The fire department is his worst nightmare right now. Okay? Because they're the only ones that can bring water. Whoa. Alright, it's now. Drive the ambulance, dude. Not not crash it. Well, that's pretty rough. Ah. The fire department couldn't do this. Ishmael is apparently the best driver I've ever seen, though. He should probably sign up for NASCAR. The man drifts like none other. Oh, he died! Did, did he really get shot and die? Or did he just get knocked out? What's going on here? I guess I'm driving now? I'm not steering. Or I'm not actually doing anything, but... I mean, snake is. Rough time, rough time. Here we go. Got him. I would have hit the dude on the left, but then maybe you wouldn't have all the extra of running into a whole vehicle. And then, <clears throat> and then hanging out upside down in this one. So I don't know. I think I think he messed up on that one. Should have hit the guy and not the truck. Declia Sovereign Base Area Cypress Outskirts of Xylophombi... I don't know. Ishmael's gone. March 11th, 1984. This seems pretty advanced for 1984. And he's been out for nine years? Because this stuff looks more like... Modern almost. Uh, the guns and whatnot look modern. I'd say. The ambulance... Eh, I don't know. Old, I guess. <clears throat> I guess. I don't know, did they have creepy children with gas masks on in 1984? I feel like that would be in the history books. But, uh, I'm not sure. Did she just crash that helicopter? Like, with her mind? Oh! What is that? Is that a whale? It looks like a whale. It is a whale. It's a flaming whale. What is going on? Uh, I don't think I quite understand this story right now. Uh, there was a flaming whale, and there's a child with a gas mask. I don't. I don't and then there was the burn guy. Ishmael, 
helping me out. And then there's a oh, the horse actually scared me. Get on. I'm on your side. I think this is Coyote. Hurry. This guy looked like the one from the picture. Hurry. Whenever uh, the doctor was showing me, it, it looks like this guy. Hang on. Why does he ride on a horse and not have a car though? I think we have a problem here, sir. You're riding on a horse, this you man's riding on a horse. Watch our backs. But, uh, see, switch camera position. So, what button is that? Is it F? It's not F. Oh, oh, it just took a hit. That's for sure. Time to reload. Oh. Did he set me on fire? I don't know when I'm supposed to... I don't know when I'm supposed to reload and when I'm supposed to shoot him, but I mean, I'm, I'm shooting him. I think it's maybe just if he gets close, because this, the shotgun seems to slow him down a little bit. But he's, he's kind of far anyway. I'm not super worried about it. Oh, how did he do that? How are you doing that back there, man? Hey, buddy. Could you, uh, maybe drive this thing a little faster? Or this, uh, this horse? Could you, uh, maybe get out of here? A little faster, man? I mean, I'm doing the best I can back here. I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job, but... Am I just shooting him as much as I can? Or is this an actual, like... Am I supposed to, uh, ride on this for so long? I don't know. Seems like he stopped. Unless we shook he's him off. Yeah, no, I think he's going. Oh, I lied. There he is again. How's it going, buddy? What's up? Got him. Bam. Get out of here, man. Take that horse somewhere else. Alright. I'm gonna shot like that. Uh, get him? Shoot him more? I don't think this is working. Ah, uh, who cares? Our man's a baller. The guy's great. Best horse in the game. You know? Oh, lightning. Okay. That didn't hit the horse? Are you sure it didn't hit the horse? Because I feel like I feel like that lightning kinda killed the horse. Apparently not. So it was right in front of the horse. I'm waiting for Captain Hook over here to get a cool new prosthetic arm because I feel like that one is not going to do me very much good. Um, I don't know what any of this stuff is. It looks like a score system, which I'm not a super big fan of in single player games. I don't like score systems because I just like doing my thing. I don't like being compared to everyone else, but whatever, I guess. We'll, uh, we'll stick it out. Um, it's an exciting little prologue there. A little first mission, you know? Episode Zero, or whatever they called it. The Awakening, I think is what it was. Let's see, what does this lady want? Can she not do anything in the rain, or what? Are these guys ever explained either? Because no one's really talked to me about what the hell those two are and what the hell they're doing trying to kill me. You know? So I don't really have a good idea of what is going on. I'm not going to try to pronounce those names. Yoji Shinkawa. I just know the guy who made this is Hito. Hideo Kojima. The name's Ocelot. Oh, Ocelot, not Coyote. I was close. He knows who I am. A certain man gave me a job to do. Two, actually. The first was to get you out of that hospital. Yep. The second was to rescue the man himself. 
Aha. Uh -huh. You remember? Your partner nine years ago, Kazuhira Miller. Nine years back, your private army came under attack by Cypher. Okay. You were considered dead. Until today, that is, when Cypher found you. And it's not just them. The whole world wants you dead. Oh. Okay, even the extraterrestrial wants me dead. You'll have to join up with Miller. Okay. Build that private army of yours one more time. It's your only chance. Okay. So, Ishmael is not who we thought he was. That's Miller, our old partner from nine years First ago. First, we need to save Miller. He's in Afghanistan. Afghanistan. Oh, well, our, our guy can talk now, that's for sure. Alright. So, what, we're gonna ride a horse to Afghanistan. In a coma? Four years ago, the Soviets invaded Afghanistan. The Muslims are fighting back with Western support. Miller was training Mujahideen rebels when he was captured by the Soviets. Okay. The Reds' 40th Army. Troop strength somewhere around 100,000. The squad holding Miller set off near the Pakistan border yesterday. Now in three days, they'll reach the Soviet garrison. They'll be interrogated for a few more days, and it's off to a logger. Or left to rot in a ditch on Afghan soil. Left to rot in a ditch, huh? Well, I give him two weeks. Guess we gotta go get him. The job didn't mean anything to Miller. He only took it on to keep you safe. So who was the guy that was in the room with us then? Is he not? That can't well, be the same no guy. Ride. It's a whaling ship. Had a pretty good deal on her once the IWC started raising a stink. Now it's seven days to Port Kasim, another three over land, so we won't have much time once we're there. Don't take too long getting used to your new self. Hang on. Okay. So, what about this guy that was with us in the, uh, in the hospital? Who is he? Ishmael. I thought he was Miller, but he's not, apparently. Maybe he's... Somebody else that liked us and didn't want us to die, but he apparently spent nine years there with us We know it can't be Miller because Miller is now captured somewhere I'm Trying to wrap my head around this story and it's confusing and I've only been playing for an hour So what is going on in this right now, you know? Okay Declia the, the, the Kellia? Okay, we're, we're close to Egypt and Jordan and Israel. Port Said? Or said? Port Said? Port Said? I'm gonna guess. The Suez Canal. And then this guy's giving me. I don't know. Is he giving me an. A, I thought he was giving me a cool new arm. He's not. I'm trying to. Trying to load a gun with a prosthetic arm. This isn't exactly going too well, man. There we go. There's a hand. Finally. Something cool. Cut the ponytail, though, man. I'm not a big fan of the hair. I. You saw what kind of haircut I wanted. It's not the ponytail look, man. I didn't choose the ponytail. We're in Afghanistan. Smoking a smoking a cigar with our boy, listening to sick jams. I think I think he's probably listening to sick jams. All right. I know this episode's running pretty long, honestly, uh, a lot longer than what I normally would run. It's just I wanted to get all the cutscenes and everything in one before. Okay, so we have music tape, the man on fire, and Ocelot's briefing. Um, we can customize vehicles as well. I'm gonna try to listen to those and if it's anything important I'll put it in the next episode or I'll re-listen to it Menuing in this game I do remember to be kind of difficult Because of It all being y'all have to do it on a keyboard and this game just wasn't What 
you think it'd be on PC. Um, we'll pick up the cutscene next episode. I want to end it here before this runs on too long. If you guys enjoy this series, please don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.